Today I want to explore one of these self-heating hot pots to see just how it works and see if we can regenerate the agent that's used to heat these noodles. But before I do that, I want to eat these first, so I'll be right back. Okay, all the uh, noodles are now eaten, and now let's see what heated this big container of noodles up. There's that little packet right there. Now let's see what exactly is in that packet. Let me cut it open. Let's see if it's hot. Oh, it's pretty pretty hot still. I'm gonna have to wait for that to cool down. Okay, now we're gonna cut the bag open to see what's inside it. It should contain slaked lime because the process of generating the heat takes calcium oxide and reacts it with water to make slaked lime, which is highly exothermic. Here it is. It's a grayish white powder. Still warm actually, despite more than an hour going by since it was activated. So what I'm gonna do in this experiment is take the slaked lime and heat it up to remove the water from it to see if it can be reused for heating again. Let's go ahead and start our experiment. So I'm transferring all of this calcium hydroxide into this steel can, which I cut open. And I'm going to put, place this, I'm going to place the steel can in my furnace. So I have a, like a propane forge, and I'm going to stick it in there for an hour, heating it to a thousand degrees. It only really needs to be heated up to 550, but I should be able to accelerate the decomposition of this calcium hydroxide back into calcium oxide. And that way I'll be able to prove that you can recycle this chemical for use in future uh, food heating projects. So without further ado, Okay, I put the uh, calcium hydroxide in this mini furnace that I built. You can see it in there. It's pretty hot. And I've been heating it for about an hour, and it's at least 800 degrees centigrade. And I'm assuming this is enough heat to convert the calcium hydroxide back into calcium oxide. So I'm just going to give it maybe another half an hour for luck. And then we'll come back, we'll take it out, and we'll see if it will heat up when it's mixed with water. So I'm going to turn this off, let it cool down, and then quickly put the material into a sealed bottle to prevent it from reacting with water vapor in the air or with carbon dioxide. The contents have cooled down. I'm assuming that this is calcium oxide, but I'm not entirely sure that the contents of the heating package were calcium oxide to begin with. So this is cold. Here's the steel can that I used. You can see where the flame was hitting it. It's thinned out the metal. So now I'm gonna add some water and see if it boils. Here goes. Let's add it carefully. I'm not sure this is going to do anything. But we'll find out. Wow, it's really, really hot. Ouch. Here's with my thermal camera. Interestingly, this thing is staying really hot and it's been at least 15, 20 minutes and it's still hot. So it's continuing to generate heat as the calcium oxide gets converted back to calcium hydroxide. Thanks for watching folks and do check back for future videos.